Hello guys, my name is Shubham. Today we have uh, Nikhil with us who have qualified GATE with Flying Colors. Hello Nikhil, how are you? Hello sir, I'm, I'm great sir. Uh, so Nikhil, today I'm going to ask a few questions that will definitely going to mm -hmm. help all the coming future GATE aspirants. So mm -hmm. I'll start with the question. Just wanted to know like what is your background of your education? Okay, so I'm from Delhi and I did my bachelor's in software engineering from Delhi Technological University. And after that, I took a drop and started preparing for GATE exam, like from the month of August. Okay. So like, uh, as you mentioned, you have taken drop, right? So how did you mm -hmm. manage the pressure of the drop? So the pressure, like, uh, it wasn't easy, you know, like uh, there were times when I lost confidence in myself, you know, but uh, my family and friends were there, like uh, they supported me, you know. My friends used to tell me that, uh, like, uh, you have a great potential, but uh, you haven't used it in the right direction till now. Like, and it is true because uh, till the gate preparation, like, uh, every path that I chose was a very cert uncertain one, like the esports player or a freelance bug bounty hunter. Can you just explain, like, what these professions are? I am not aware about it, about them. Okay, so. In bug bounty, bug bounty hunting, you have to find bugs and report it to the company, like which can affect the user data or the company's data. Oh, okay. Got and they report you with the money. Yes. Yeah. And the second one you mentioned about like a uh, game player or sports player, is it related to like online mm -hmm. gaming or something? Yeah, 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 sir. So I try to be a professional esports player in the game PUBG. Okay. So I did that for one and a half years, but after that I started something else i think these kind of paths are like uh, very very challenging because most of the people are now engaging themselves in these paths so while choosing the career options we have to be very sure like what we want to do basically so yeah we should we, we should do this uncertain one like uh, along with the certain career path so what is your strategy with the gate applied course how did you follow the learning of the gate applied course i use the like uh, the ticket system Okay. I use it a lot so like to clear my doubts. I used to ask a lot of questions to the mentors and they always responded on time. So and uh, I really like the video in which you talk about uh, why are we why are we studying that subject? You know what are its real world application? Okay, okay. So basically, you have uh, like the query resolution system and also the applications of the subject. Yeah. 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 My strategy was to be like. Uh, was to understand the concepts very clearly, you know, because I knew if I can understand the concepts clearly, then I can solve a tricky question too. So like, no matter how much time it will take me, I was focusing on concepts, not on solving problems. Basically, how many hours did you put in on the daily basis? Okay, so I used to give seven hours a day for six days a week. And on Sunday, I used to give three hours. Okay, like say, Sunday, I mean, means you're not giving much time. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sir, it was supposed to be my rest day, but uh, I did not want to break my consistency. So, I studied only for three hours. Okay, that is a nice approach. Yeah, that is a nice mm -hmm. approach. So, like, what is strategy you have followed to analyze your mistakes and everything? To analyze my mistake, uh, I made a mistake notebook in which I used to write my each and every mistakes and also the new concept that. I found in the test. So, and I used to revise that notebook on like on every Sunday. That really helped me. Okay. So, you are basically using a notebook where you are writing your mistakes and you are analyzing them. Okay. Yeah. The strategy you have followed for solving a test series, like you have a lot of tests in the test series, like uh, mm -hmm. test, mock test, the multiple subject tests, and all of these tests. So, how did you manage mm -hmm. to do all of them and what strategy you have followed to just solve these tests? So actually I gave only full length test and that is only in the last month of the, my preparation. I never got the time to give the subject wise test. Okay. And in the last month I used to give one full length test each day. And I used to write my each and every mistake in the, that notebook that I told you about. Like how did you manage to pull yourself together during the points where you are very low? So, sir, working out and, uh, 78 hours of good sleep helped me a lot to relieve my stress you know 
my strategy was to be consistent no so i believe that anyone can study on the days they are feeling good but if you are studying on the day you are feeling low and that is the point you are getting ahead of your competition yes definitely. and that is what i was doing like even if i'm feeling low i would study i may study less but i would not break my consistency allowed to go back in time what <laughs> what thing you wanted to change in your preparation that is a good question yeah so if i had a chance to go back in time then i would not solve the questions of last 4 to 5 years okay rather than that what i would do is like a week before the actual exam i would give the full length previous year paper of those year and then it would feel like i'm giving many exam before the actual one okay so basically you will give the uh, test previous year test papers directly yeah okay so that will give you the knowledge of like coming test papers mm -hmm. because sir it is the iit professor who are going to make the test like no matter how many test series you give no it is not going to affect that much the, the way the previous year papers are going to affect Yes, yes. That's a nice approach. Like solving previous year's questions are very must for preparing for gate. But if you are doing it like paper wise, then it will be like more challenging and it will give you more confidence also. Yes. Sir. So, do you have any suggestions for the gate apply team? So, sir, only thing that I would suggest is that you can create a Slack or Discord group where students can communicate with each other. They can share their doubts. and strategy okay. and also motivate each other you know that's that can very, help a lot that's a very nice suggestion we will try to incorporate this thing in the coming year and i'll just mm -hmm. write it down and just try to let, let this suggestion to know to my do you have any questions for us mm -hmm. sir sir i want to know like uh, what should i focus on apart from competitive programming mm -hmm. uh, basically i mean uh, you are going to get the research right so at this point of time when you are free just just try to find out your research area because when you get like taking admissions in the iit you have to do the research also so for that purpose mm -hmm. if you just do it early you will just get to know like in what areas you are interested in so you can focus mm -hmm. on that areas so that would definitely going to help you uh, like uh, while going to the college so like what are the different areas which are demanding like at the moment so mostly people are interested in ml machine learning and ai directions for the research and also there is one more direction is uh, you can go in iot internet of things uh, or the networking side so these are the, these areas are mostly demanding so it completely depends on you like in what direction you want to go okay 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 sir okay. so thank you nikhil for sharing your views with us i hope this will going to help all the future gate aspirants and uh, they will be inspired by your journey So thank you for sharing your previous previous time. Uh, thank you, sir, for inviting me here. Okay.